One major issue with low-profile cars is that you sometimes, oftentimes, have to have extended ramps in addition to the ramps that come with the trailer. We are done with that mess right here, right now. Hey, it's Brett with Complete Trailers. Along with solving issues with towing, we also love innovation and design. That's when we came across Futura Trailers. Futura literally eliminates all the use for ramps or extended ramps because the trailer deck drops down onto the ground. So we're gonna take a closer look at that here. And we are featuring three models from Futura, which is the Supercar, the Pro, and the Tandem model. Starting with some of the technical specifications on the trailer, the entire chassis is made out of anodized aluminum. Now there are literally no welds used anywhere to fasten the trailer together. It's all high quality aircraft rivets that are used. Uh, there is also marine grade stainless steel rigging fittings and fenders, galvanized steel lifting arms and axles. All of it is top quality built to last for years and years to come. Now, any of the cable components on here is also marine grade and designed to go in salt water. So that was one of our initial concerns is, hey, look, this is gonna go through salt and mag chloride in the north. You know, what happens then? It is designed to go through some of those elements. The first trailer we're gonna talk about is the Pro model. That is the longest tandem axle trailer that's offered by Futura at this point. And all of the trailers that are tandem axle are rated at a GVWR of 7,000 pounds. Now the empty weight of the Pro version is only 1,466 pounds. It gives you a towing capacity on the trailer of 5,534 pounds. And the deck length, because I know some of these specs are important, 19 feet, eight inches, as well as the deck width 78 and three quarter inches. Now, one of the other concerns that we had was the fender height when the deck is in the raised position. It's just about nine inches off the deck. And I was concerned uh, about some of the clearance with the doors opening up with cars. And what we found out is that unless you've dropped the car down to the ground, you really shouldn't have an issue opening up most car doors. On this Pro model, we've added a recovery winch. Now, that is simply to tow your vehicle on if you don't want to drive it on, so you can pull it on with the recovery winch. You can remove the recovery winch, stow it in the box in the front, and move it from side to side. So depending on what side of the vehicle your tow hook is on, you can actually move it from the curbside or the roadside. Now there's really not much of a difference between the Pro model and the Tandem model, except for the true length of the trailer. Uh, now, in the front compartment, that's where you would typically stow your recovery winch. That also houses the winch that operates the trailer. So one thing we could not figure out until we actually saw it in person was, hey, how does this thing operate? Is there some sort of compressor system with airbags? And, oh my God, that sounds really expensive. And, you know, what's this thing going to look like? And really, it's a simple but very well thought out design uh, that's been engineered. Uh, which is a cable and pulley system uh, with a winch in the front. There are 5,000 pound cables underneath the trailer that are connected to each uh, lifting arm mechanism at each wheel. And then there are safety brackets or safety latches, I should say, uh, that clip into place. So there's four of those total. Once you've raised the trailer up, you clip these back into place to safely secure your car when you're towing. The way that you operate the lifting mechanism is you've got a cordless remote that you can just simply hit a button up or down, or there's a manual lever or switch on the front of the tongue box. So you could drive the car on, be inside the car with your cordless remote and just raise the trailer up that way. Or you can be, if you're gonna use the recovery winch and you're gonna pull the car on, you can pull the car on and then just hit the manual switch in the front and raise and lower the trailer that way as well. The next model is the supercar. That's a fairly new design that was developed because there's a need out there. One of the main issues with some of the supercars is that they're extra wide. Take Lamborghini or Bugatti, for example. You can't load those, some of those vehicles unless you go over DOT legal limits on most trailers, especially when it comes to enclosed. So what these guys did is they saw a need, they saw a niche for that market, and they eliminated the side rails on the supercar trailer. They made it two inches wider and they flared out the tail. So you don't have a uh, straight and narrow shot. They flared it out at the very rear of the trailer, which gives you plenty of access room to load these cars onto that model. Okay, once again, in terms of available accessories on the supercar, we've added the stone guard as well as the recovery winch that you see here. What you can't see though, is that there's a spare tire mounted on each of these trailers underneath. So if you ever have a flat or a blowout, it's underneath the trailer that's easy to access if you do need it. The most popular model out of these three is the Tandem 
model that Futura offers. Now, both the Tandem and the Supercar are 16 foot 5 inches in deck length. The Tandem model weighs in at 1,322 pounds, whereas the Supercar weighs in at 1,400 pounds empty. Now, the deck width, because now the Tandem axle has that rail on the top, which is used to tie down the vehicle, uh, is 78 and 3 quarter inches wide. So that is something you're going to have to take a look at in terms of a critical dimension. And usually we don't run into issues with that width unless we're going to the supercar territory or if you have, let's say, a modified uh, race car, you might have an issue there too. A supercar would be something that you certainly want to take a look at. Open trailers have been around for a long time. It sometimes takes an outsider's perspective to come into an industry to solve an issue. Futura came in and said, hey, look, the issue is this, we see customers that are hauling around wood, extended ramps, just to haul their car to and from a place. And there's really nowhere to put this stuff. You've got to strap it to the top of the trailer, you've got to stow it in the back of your vehicle or what have you. And they said, let's add a little bit of tech, let's add a little bit of intelligent design and engineering to a trailer, and we can e completely eliminate all of that. The deck drops down to the ground, you drive on or pull on the trailer with the winch, and you lift it up and you're off. So that's the type of company we like to line up with. It's companies that are cutting edge, innovative. In this industry, there's a lot of what I, what I would call tunnel vision. So a lot of manufacturers will simply research and copy what other manufacturers are doing. And Futura is out there leading the way with a completely new design on trailer towing. As a quick footnote, I wanted to point out that the quantities of available inventory are extremely limited. So if you are interested in this, give us a call, get one on order, get one locked down, uh, because once we run out of stock, it's, it takes several months for us to get these back in inventory. Also, some of the components may change over time. So the wheels might change up, for example, the jack might change up, for example. So just keep that in mind that this is a fluid environment. The main components of the trailer are all gonna remain constant and static. They're gonna stay the same. Uh, but some of the minor components on the trailers might change up. If you like what you've seen here, like, share, subscribe on our social media, give us a thumbs up. And with multiple locations in the United States, we can ship the trailer directly to you. You don't even have to go anywhere. We'll just ship it right to your front door. And stay tuned for more videos soon to come.